man accused of indecently assaulting a teenager after a car crash. An election test for the Prime Minister as Victoria goes to the polls. Coach caught out. The real reason for the axing of two wallabies revealed. And the rough and tumble of race one at the Newcastle 500. This is NBN News with Jane Goldsmith. Good evening. It began as a good deed, but police say it turned sinister when a father allegedly preyed on a teenager who had just crashed her car. The man helped the 19-year-old at a Sydney petrol station before he's accused of following and molesting her. He appears to be a good Samaritan, offering his help to a teenager in need. A chance encounter on Thursday night at the BP in Bankstown after the 19-year-old pulled in with a busted radiator. It was very obvious that she was asking for help. Keenan Bassage played the role of mechanic, collecting tools and inspecting the damage. He and the woman chat casually and even share a hug when the problem is fixed. But as when she goes to leave, the 36-year-old allegedly drops the act and propositions her for sex. It seems to have been something that he has just taken the opportunity at the time. The 19-year-old remains calm, rejecting his alleged advances and driving away. He takes off straight after. The pea plater made it just two kilometres to Millpera Road at Reesby before her Mazda broke down again, close behind the man in the ute, who this time allegedly took it a step further by touching her breast Describe that behaviour as predatory. Police took one look at the BP security cameras and identified Bassage through his number plates. Turns out he only lives around the corner with his wife and child. Uh, he's regular, he's a nice man, he's gentle. I've never seen anything wrong from him. It took less than 24 hours for officers to come knocking at his DeWitt Street apartment. Today, Basich lost his bid for bail, throwing his hands in the air and yelling, I am innocent. His fate now up to the court to decide. Tiffany Genders, NBN News. The Prime Minister is facing a major test tonight as the vote count gets underway in Labor-held Victoria. Scott Morrison barely campaigned for the coalition but will be closely watching the state election result, which could be a strong indicator of how next year's federal vote plays out. The Prime Minister playing Santa Claus in Sydney, while in Victoria he had no presence. While the federal Labor leader snapped on a sausage and the Treasurer shared his sweets, Scott Morrison stayed away, some say with good reason. This election's been fought on state issues, but there has been the shadow of National Liberal Party disunity and division. When Malcolm Turnbull was ousted, the coalition took a hit in Victoria. Scott Morrison has barely been there during the state campaign. He is the Prime Minister of Australia. He gets across every state. I was with him in Victoria only a couple of weeks ago. Today, Bill Shorten cast a vote for the future of his state. The PM can't vote in Victoria, but the future of his government could be hinted in the result. Meantime, the future of a Liberal senator is looking uncertain. The party has released its a ticket for New South Wales, and Jim Molan appears to be in an unwinnable position. The former Major General only became a Senator in February after the Nationals' Fiona Nash left over citizenship issues. But Senator Molan has been listed third on the ticket, which means he's unlikely to remain after the federal election. Fiona Willen, NBN News. The wind was down and the crowd was up for day two of the Newcastle 500. The first serious day of racing saw a grandstand finish after supporters turned out early to secure the best vantage points. Stephen Mount reports. After a quarter opening practice day, motorsport fans turned out en masse for day two of the Newcastle 500. On the track it was all down to business as drivers fought it out for pole position ahead of tomorrow's big race. Off the track, a perfect November day made for a true carnival atmosphere. Build it and they will come. By the time gates open, queues stretch back to the Queen's Wharf Hotel. Once trackside, supporters set out to secure their piece of real estate. 
no balcony too small. At Newcastle Beach, a touch of the Gold Coast. The best seats in the house reserved for East End residents and guests. It's fantastic. I've got all my guys from work. It's a good opportunity to um, just share um, this great experience and what a great thing for Newcastle. Similar sentiments for business owners too. After a slower start yesterday, customers packed into the grain store to give their feet some relief and of course rehydrate. Today's a bit of a carbon copy, I think, of uh, maybe even a little bit busier than the Saturday of last year, so, yeah, couldn't, couldn't, be, uh, couldn't be going better. And there's still a day to go. Yeah! Yeah! Stephen Mount, NBN News. There's a changed dynamic outside the track this year, with businesses reporting a better flow of foot traffic and events for car lovers young and old right across the city. Outside the precinct, spirits were up. Yeah! While customer numbers are still down, it's been a little closer to business as usual this time around. We're looking forward to this afternoon when, you know, there'll be a few more people around again and tomorrow being a big day, um, there should be loads more people around. So um, it's great to sort of get people spread out through the city and I think they're seeing parts of Newcastle that they hadn't seen before. Sitting in pole position right on the fence line, this year the Queen's Wharf Hotel has found itself sharing the love. Unfortunately, it's probably down a bit this year on last year they reckon about 30 percent but um the whole city's opened up now mate so everyone's got a bit of a go at it i was a bit selfish last year and had it all to myself but no nah, it's going great mate oh mate it's gonna be huge <laughs> it's, it's, all I say, it's gonna be bigger than lego one thing definitely bigger the setup for little ones in civic park face paint and bouncy slides proving a popular alternative watch some of the cars and then um yeah do much the same on repeat and then yeah head out, head out for dinner tonight and at number one sports ground the stage is set for tonight's supercars concert headlined by simple minds and birds of tokyo lauren kemp mbn news Making a bigger noise than any concert or supercar ever could today, the Hornet fighter jet which flew over the circuit just after 3pm. The spectacular low-level flyover as part of the event took place at close to 1,000 kilometres an hour. The Hornet made its way over King Edward Park before returning to RAF base Williamtown, presumably in time for the pilot to watch the start of the race. And we'll have the thrilling finish from today's first race later in sport. A 59-year-old man has died in a motorcycle accident at Neath near Cessnock. Police say the Kawasaki rider lost control and crashed on Cessnock Road. His female passenger, also aged in his 50s, was taken to hospital, suffering non-life-threatening injuries. The road was closed in both directions. Officers are appealing for anyone with information about the crash to come forward. The blaze burning between Saltash and Madawi remains at advice level tonight after a nervous two days for residents and firefighters. For an equestrian centre, though, the flames were far from the only problem. A blanket of black, all that the fire left behind. Was it pretty touching, though? Initially, yes. Yes, the fire was going pretty hard. The situation was much more calm today, but the threat is not yet over. Helicopters continue to swoop on spot fires, burning in difficult terrain. Yeah, little, just getting some water from the bulky. While crews on the ground survey the damage. They want the fire finished and done by tomorrow night. Is that doable? I think so, yes. It's the second major bushfire at Saltash in just three months. It's married up with the fire we had in September, so that was helped us contain it, but was still a problem for the people that live in the area. The salvos have been doing their bit to keep firefighters fed and watered. It's astonishing no homes were lost in the fire, but small structures nestled in the bushland like that of Laser Skirmish Company Battle Zone suffered significant damage. And the fencing here at the Bruce McKenzie Equestrian Complex will cost tens of thousands to repair. But for the club, that was the least of their worries today. This front door had been cut with a grinder and it was just sitting in place and the whole thing nearly fell on top of me, it's very heavy. And then when I got in I realised that we'd been burgled. 
But the callous thieves didn't get in through the clubhouse door. They cut a hole in the roof and jumped in. They then ransacked the office that four clubs share, stealing the contents of cupboards as well as a sound system and team uniforms. It's gut-wrenching, I can tell you. You would hope that you don't live in a community where these people are. Port Stephens Council was quick on the job, patching up the fence line and the clubhouse by lunchtime. George Amar, NBN News. Meanwhile, a late-night bushfire kept firefighters busy in Sydney. The two-hectare blaze broke out near Mount Druitt at around 11pm. Strong winds fanned the flames. The cause at this stage is unknown. Still to come... Black Friday shooting, a gunman opens fire at a US shopping centre. Look at him, happy as Larry. Not an expression, just his name. Now imagine Larry and his ball represent your current monthly flea and paralysis tick treatment. Nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Oh, but what if there was something with six times the woe factor? New Brevecto for dogs is the only spot on that offers six months protection from both fleas and paralysis ticks in one dose. Now look back at your monthly treatment. Suddenly not so great, huh? Soz Larry. Brevecto spot on. Goes on and on. Right now, receive 0% interest on purchases for 15 months if you apply for any Coles MasterCard by December 31st. Apply today. Good things are happening at Coles. Coles MasterCard. Pineapple? Or make it a pine berry. Mix your frozen Fanta at Macca's. With 36 flavours to explore, it's the largest range in Australia. Grab a frozen Fanta for only $1. A little goes a long way at Macca's. For 20 years, Ranger has earned the title. Hardest working, smoothest riding, and we've sold over a million. Because Ranger keeps getting better. More ground clearance, more towing, more load carrying, tighter turning circle, smoother transmissions, more storage. And it doesn't stop there. We now introduce the Ranger, 20 years in the making. The all-new Ranger XP 1000 Heavy Duty. With over 100 owner-inspired innovations, it's more rugged, more refined, and more Ranger. Polaris, hardest working, smoothest riding. Special K now has vitamin D, iron, and protein. Special K has nutrients women need. Stay strong. The Bingley Black Friday sale is now on. With huge deals like these. Four days of huge deals. The Black Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday sale is now on. Only at Bingley. It's Black Friday sale time at your local better. Hurry in and save up to 25% off TVs, as well as up to 50% off small appliances. Many more deals in store and online. Sale on now ends Monday. Go local. That's better. That's better. Hipsters. Jack. You're even smarter with your money now. Handcrafted those? Handcrafted. So take out Avia Home Insurance plus car insurance, and you'll get 10% off both. It's time to switch to Avia.